so friends i'm going to replace the chain sprocket so let me see how soon i can do this is about 10:30 now i have the spanners i have the new chain sprocket it's been 20000 km so this is uh, 17 to loosen this axle nut and uh, to loosen the uh, this nut this is 27 and the other side is is 22 So let's start and replace the chain guys Since this is a chain task I'm going to use the gloves so that I don't make myself much I'll use the surgical gloves Although I purchased uh, this post-mortem gloves and all, but this time I'll use a surgical pair so that I can save uh, safeguard my hands, my palms. I can say. So, friends, I'd open these two nuts, this axel and the chain cover. Then I'd remove this. So I need eight and ten mm. Uh, I can say T. T sets. These are all. This is 10 mm. This is 8 mm. So let us start. So come on, come on. Come on. looks to me as good but i get a lot of noise here so i'm thinking of changing this bracket as well as the chain all right let's do it once we decided let's do it friends we'll open this ones it mm is easy that if you get a 8 mm t you can do many things you can remove the entire thing chain case i do remove completely this was connected here so i'll keep it connected so that i don't misplace this is the gear shaft
is so dirty friends need to clean up i'll clean up separately so let's open this first Yes guys I could remove this easily with not much difficulties This is the lock It has to be this side always towards the chain I mean movement of the bike not this way so while fixing the new chain also we need to follow the same procedure this is clean now but we have to remove this this piece which is already worn out see the teeth the teeth is completely worn out since 20000 it's not been uh not replace the company says 20000 or whichever is worn out so the rear uh, sprocket is worn out so i'm replacing this so let us open this these nuts or i can say these bolts and remove this pocket from here and use the new sprocket and clean up tick tack so to open this uh, we need to open all these locks there are two locks both sides so we have to do that one first Okay. 
Please don't forget to do the same thing. Let's do that. Okay. I use a ring spanner and let's see, a 14 inch ring spanner. It should be tight, it should be much more tighter than what we expect because these are all these profits. And uh, let's see. I'm going to pick somebody's head, but at this point, no. Let's go. Okay, I'll take help from a friend of mine who is observing it here. So, let's see. Dr. So, my, it's not my best, my best. Okay. Good night. 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 Let's do it. Okay, guys. I should thank him. So finally, it's open with all these these two locks with four bolts. Let us fix the new one. to show you guys this costed me 1130 I
look at this these are the locks i have to bend it i have to bend it like this So these are all locked now. It is fully tightened lock. So let's put some grease and then fix it. I've done a little bit of greasing over here. This one, as well as I've done the greasing over here. Let's fix this wheel. The small wheel. should have a little bit play so that when we fix the chain it should be okay let me bring the chain this is the new chain it's already greased I don't have to grease this The only thing is I need to open this lock.
good it finally fixing is easy always this is the new lock That is that simple. We did so after the lock change, the change type and the lock so we need to clean the lock and close this. So let's open this. I complete the thing guys. I think I could not really want. This is easy. After fixing from there, we have come here. And connect this and insert this. So, push this sprocket to the maximum. So that you get the small sprocket can be fixed in here look at this how easy Too tight. Yeah, this should be okay. So let me tighten this. Later we can do it. Now rain is come guys. So I have to close this. Oh, it is too tight now. So with this this is okay this place should be okay i will tight this the other one other bolt so that it fixes over there and tighten this
all right it's tightened and this place should be okay i will adjust that later if at all requires Since I have opened this brake shoes, let me clean a little bit. The dust should go. Get out of the dust. So, can check the wheel. Let me put the axle now. I'll put some grease to the axle. the same way with this current light condition I should be okay let me start the vehicle alignment yeah the first line and it is there at the first line I can't 
like this nut. Shaft. Where is my ATM? Yes, tighten this. All right, let's go to the chain cover side. And put cover. I did not clean the cover, guys. I will do while chain maintenance. Not now. I just wipe off. Yesterday I had a water wash with my new home car wash machine I think they would have enjoyed it This is number 10 Now the top cover Same thing I'll do, I'll just wipe off This is a basement I don't know what kind of work is going on Always there is a bang, bang, bang So this is my car park area guys so I'm utilizing that area is my
I just fitted the I fit the chain and what I did is I just closed the cover because I had to go to pick my son from the school so it was about 115 1, in the afternoon so I left I did not oil it but the chain is already oiled lubricated from the factory itself I need to lubricate the sprockets so let's do it today we need 8 mm 10 mm T these two that's it with this we had to open this cover by 8 mm we had to oil the lubricate the smaller sprocket and the bigger sprocket here that's it that's the task we have to do and i think it is not going to take more than so to start with the video i have got a oil canter some rags uh, dirty clothes i can say so and i got some gear oil which is normally used for the chain lubrication i had opened this bottle put it into the canter and uh, sorry guys canster so then lubricate with that oil and as you have seen in my video where i shown the car car washer from from that purchase i had added this uh, one side uh, key another side ring so i will use this for the alignment of this because i had tough time yesterday so the key will hold and the ring will tight this so that way we can align the chain and uh, that's it with that we can start I had some WD-40 also instead we in, in case we need some clean so let's fill the canster first let me see how much oil is there inside I got some oil so I think that's enough uh, I think I can I will not open the gear oil uh, that wash gear oil bottle with this much of uh, oil what I saw that should be okay for lubricating the chain so let's not break the seal let it be open uh, let it be closed for the next task
gitu. Complete the video. It's fit now, and let me start the bike again. Put it to neutral. smoother just verifying this you know, this makes a lot of noise and verify this 